course of the pandemic, COVID restrictions have been tough on so many, especially those who are confined to a hospital room or even a nursing home. They can't leave, and visitors have been limited, even banned. And that's been the case for a resident of Hospice Unit, Erie's VA Hospital. But he's making the most of it thanks to his remarkable creativity. John Last has his story in this edition of The Last One. Three, two, one. I'm an old school television news reporter, and I don't like using Zoom or Skype or anything like that to do my interviews. But I'm making an exception to introduce you to an amazing person. Bill West has lived at the Erie VA Hospice Unit since March of last year. The 71-year-old Navy vet has severe COPD and has endured quarantines and limited window visits from friends and family. It can be a tedious and boring life. I had to do something to pass the time because television is fine for a little bit, but I had to do something being an artist and all that stuff to pass the time. The former news photographer from Ashtabula got an idea. He started to make works of art from the food he was served at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Peas, a hamburger, mayo, and ketchup were turned into a smiley face. It all that started, I was in our dining room at the time, and then I was bored. <laughs> and I'm looking at the food. Cottage cheese, carrots, and hot dogs were turned into another face. Here's what Bill did with hash browns, onions, green peppers, and tomatoes. Yeah, I use anything they give me. It won't be hot dogs now because they're no longer on my diet. Bill shares his artwork with other patients and the staff. They love it. He says putting a smile on people's faces, especially in a hospice unit, feels good. And Bill's creativity is helping people in other ways. From his room, he designed a blanket he wanted to send to those suffering from the war in Ukraine. With the help of his fiancée, Shirley Blancho, he raised $2,200. During a recent break in the COVID restrictions, he personally dropped off 50 blankets to be delivered to Ukraine by the First Ukrainian Pentecostal Church of Erie. Welcome to see their pastor and the people that were just overwhelmed. It, it just made everything worse. To help others smile in times of crisis and to do it from a hospice unit is remarkable and inspiring. Bill feels good about it too. I, I kind of felt that uh, I was kept here for a reason and I kind of felt that might, must be the reason I'm still hanging around. With the last word in Erie, John Last, Erie News Now. Now I'm wondering what he could do with a bowl of rigatoni. I mean, there's so much <laughs> talent there, right? He is <laughs> remarkable. And bravo, Bill, bravo. Yeah, great job. And at one time, Bill produced a newsletter for the patients and staff at the VA. And there's still some COVID protocols being taken there at the Erie VA Medical Center. But, uh, you know, we have to say that Again, he is taking his <laughs> talents and turning them really into making a lot of people smile. We'll be right back.